want to ask you, I'm going to be closing in a few minutes, but not yet. <laughs> I want to ask you, what is the number one thing that gets in the way of your prayer life? If, if, you, had to, if you had to say, what's the number one thing like if Yeshua came, he came to that temple, he went to the number one thing, the number one man, boom, right at the heart. If he came and, and took aim at the number one thing that is hindering your prayer life, what is it? I want you to think about that today. And think with me about the fruit of prayerlessness. The fruit of prayerlessness. What is the fruit of neglecting fellowship and prayer? What's the result of it? I mean, I could talk about the fruit of prayer or the fruit of prayerlessness. Both are important too. What's the fruit of prayerlessness? Well, listen, many, some may be prayerless. Why don't you tell us? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it leads to spiritual coldness. The love of many growing cold. It leads to being distant from God. It's like neglecting a marriage. They, they grow apart. They just grow apart. And as you grow up apart, your heart tends to cool down and harden a bit. It leads to spiritual weakness. I liken the locks, the seven locks of Samson's hair to prayerfulness. When he had those seven locks, he was supernaturally strong. But once he let Delilah in, a Delilah spirit came in and cut those locks, cut off that fellowship time, so to speak, he became weak as any other man. Weakness and vulnerability to temptation. Pray lest you enter into temptation. It leads to clouded thinking. We live in a dark place. Without prayer, the clouds tend to just seep in. He almost can't stop it. Except with prayer and cleansing of the word of God. It opens the door to spiritual defeat. And it lacks fruit. It's barren. Prayerlessness leads to being unfruitful and barren in our walk with God. It's a terrible thing. Let's wake up to the terrible place of prayerlessness. But thank God Passover is here. And my father's house is a house of prayer. There's an emphasis. There's a word coming from God. No condemnation. Just get back to it. Amen? God's not condemning anyone, but calling us back to father's house.